We keep talking about drama all weekend. Lunchtime service on the final day of Coates High Rally Australia and our leader had a few dramas through there. Just enough to keep you nervous, isn't it? Yeah, I had a few electrical problems actually before the first stage and then um, they continued we all right in the first stage. Um, but then the power steering blew uh, coming down the, the freeway. So we're watching the voltage come down and down and down. And then we stopped at the for the regroup and it obviously he conked out because it was sitting there with the fans running and all sorts of things. So we got in and the boys will fix it and we're back out there. Uh, 30 minute service only with the dramas you got. The boys you're confident can fix it within the time and everything or not? Oh, mate, these guys are the these guys are world class so uh, I've got no, no hesitation. You know, as soon as we got it back, um, big smiles on my face because I said the Wogginshaw guys are unbelievable at this stuff. They do it all day, every day and I'll get it fixed, no problems. Still plenty of kilometres to go and we know what rallying's like so we need to put our head down and really drive smart for these afternoon stages. And even though you're now in front, he took a big chunk out of you through that shipment stage and you're going right back to that now so you would want to be making sure you bridge that gap and do a better job this time around. Yeah absolutely, we're going to make a couple of setup changes for that as well. Um, so we're quite confident with the shorter ones, the car felt really good in there, I did make a uh, slight mistake in wedding bells over one of the big jumps was quite aggressive so I've changed that note there so that's always good. The first pass is tricky especially on new sections of stages, we hadn't done that last year uh, but the rest went pretty well and to see Bowden out was a real shame because uh, he'd had a great rally as well. Michael Bowden, this is not what we're going to see, the car on the trail they're having such a strong run genuinely everyone in the whole rally is disappointed mate. Yeah look they're not the only one, we are gut wrenched. Um, I really don't know until we start to get it home and get it apart and get some going up. It's too confined, but uh, we lost oil and then oil pressure started to drop off. And I actually, first up, I started losing power. Something's not right. Look down. Ooh, oil pressure's not quite good. Um, can't see anything evident, like no holes. Or, but until I get it apart, I don't know. I, I reckon it's an oil cooler line, but everything's 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 coated in it. You know what I mean? So it's. There's no oil in the in the sump, so it's obviously something major that's been forced out. Yeah. Last two stages, top three times, very encouraging. It is, yeah. We finally been able to string together a full stage, um, so times are pretty good. And I've sort of always known from the start of the event that the times would be there if we could string a whole stage together, and now it's finally showing. Yeah. And now that you've got a few of the little teething problems, the brand new car that you're debuting, so the fact that you can be in there with a very proven car like the Citroen and be mixing with them is really positive, I'm sure, and giving a bit of a lift to you and the team. It is, exactly. I've still got more time in myself, um, and obviously the more Ks we get on the car, the more things we'll find out it's, it's doing funny or not doing right, so, yeah, it's only going to get quicker. I won't harp on it too much. A good result beckons. This is where you have to concentrate as much as ever. Bernie Webb alongside, this is where he will be critical to try and make sure you get it home, won't he? Yeah, very much so, and I've just got dragged aside by Barry as well, who uh, had yeah. some, some nice strong stern words for me as well, but um, look, it's a mental game, this sport, as well as a physical and as well as a mechanical, So, and that's the exciting part about it, but um, we'll be right, we've got four and a half, uh, sorry, 45 kilometres to go, and we'll just get back to what we do, and we've, I've come into that sport doing this from the get-go, so we'll just finish it off. By hook or by crook, you're in third. You can't take it too easy because uh, your teammate's sniffing around and if you give him a little bit of a uh, shot, he'll take it, won't he? That's right. I think it's going to be about making you know, clean to some, and no mistakes. Um, I think we'd, the time lost in the first stage was uh, the two water crossings after the incident in South Australia. I took on water. I'm a bit nervous about those water crossings, so uh, I think they'll uh, be better off this afternoon. Adrian's sort of in striking distance if you had a real big push and he backed it off, but I suspect he's going to try and manage the gap and you're probably just going to manage to get home safely. I only go as fast as I can go. I'm not going to go any faster than that. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I won't, be, I won't be going slow. That's for sure. You'd love a podium if you could sneak one in though after a weekend like this, wouldn't you? Oh, mate, it'd be good just to, yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs>